Hey YouTube, it's Queen Pam. I'm just home, probably in the last hour from Indianapolis. My husband and I, um, he's a big LeBron James fan. I'm a Steph Curry fan, but nevertheless. So he, we went to see LeBron James play uh, um, against the Indiana Pacers. I had never gone to a professional basketball game and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. They had, if you've never gone, it is an experience. Um, we stayed right across the street. Their uh, stadium is set up so well. Um, we parked our car once and never used it again once we, until we were ready to go home. Um, directly across, we just walked across the street from the hotel. It was awesome. The hotel was really beautiful. I thought the hotel room would make a really nice efficiency apartment. That's how, how well done it was. There was a full kitchen. This was the Hyatt. It was a full kitchen and um, a lovely bathroom, a king size bed, 50 inch television. <laughs> yeah, it was it was just really, really nice. And um, after the game, we well, we ate at some place called... Uh, sauce on the side because it was right next door to the hotel and it was calzone excellent food if you're in indy for the baseball basketball games i recommend them um then as we we're going home today i asked if we could stop at palette and paper oh my goodness let me pause because i want to get people's names Failed to say we stopped at Cracker Barrel for breakfast and about myself this lovely hat because I love baseball caps and you guys know I love bling if you didn't I love bling so the place we went to was switch cameras is this camera working I believe it is so I don't have to hold things up and let's focus palette and paper 6421 oakland oakland don road anyway there's the address the owners are bill and marie i met marie and i have to tell you as a store owner she should give a master's class because I felt welcomed the moment I walked in to this very quaint shop. Uh, I was too excited. I didn't take pictures. I was just, you know, living in the moment. So I want to show you all what I bought. They had everything. They had 49th and Market. They had Prima. They had um, Tailored Expressions. They had Stampers. They had a whole room that was pretty much... Tim and uh, Ranger and Stampers Anonymous, um, Stamperia, um, so many things. So anyway, I'm just going to, uh, yeah, the stamp market. I've never seen the stamp market stuff uh, in person. So, of course, I bought this. And it is that great samples. Oh, excuse me great samples i'm just having a really rude day on camera anyway uh there's leaf cover dye beautiful and i have bought some of vicky i cannot pronounce her last name sorry i pressed pause i don't know where i left off i bought some ephemera from Vicky. I'm not going to be able to pronounce her name. It has no name on the packaging that I can tell, except that it says it's by her, except for that num name number. And then I bought this one as well. And I have opened this one. And let's get a look at some of it. Maybe. Here we go. And it is 
heavy cardstock weight, but it's also a sticker. So, let's move you so we can see what we can see. There's quite a few of them in the uh, package. And you can go to Vicky P. She has uh, videos using these in her art journaling practice. And I've always adored her art journaling projects. So I was eager to get these. And I have some of the other um, items in her line, but I didn't buy these. So let me put these away and we'll look at the other one. We're opening the second one. This one is the O1. Some little flowers. Got a big camera, a big hot air balloon. Teacup. Wellingtons or Wellies, nice size book, and then a lot of little flowers, leaves, and butterflies. That's a good flower, good size flower there, and there. So you got all the sizes you could possibly need. I saw this stamp set that I from Chow Bella, and I just loved it. I was, I was just like, ah, oh. community. This place felt like a community. The, the owner, the workers were welcoming. They didn't follow you around and hover. They seemed to appear right when I had a question. Um, there was a customer. She was welcoming. Oh my goodness, I so miss having an actual craft store besides Michael's and Joanne's. Uh, here in Louisville. I wish someone would open one. I'm not an entrepreneur. Therefore, wouldn't be me. Not unless I hit the lottery. And then I wouldn't care about whether or not it made any money. Oh, let's see if I can tell you. Does it have a name? It has a number. Oh, Tesla Company. There you go. And then... I have Michael Flakes. I don't have these colors. My metallic flakes. I don't know whether Mike, I shouldn't have said that. These flakes. And these are by Finnabar and Prima. This one's blue and gold, and this one's red and gold. And then, as I was looking around and actually trying to investigate this, Last week, uh, Effect Pace in Unicorn. Let's break it out of the package because I'm not going to live there anyway. See if there's stuff on the back that I might want to know. There is. So let's see if there's a way that I could preserve that and still get you out of the package. Yeah, open down here. who knows they might give me a hint so what it is looks like opalescent gel paste i'm not mad about that i can call, add my own color to it hopefully if i stick with something that's translucent and still i'll be able to get sparkle and it looks like there are bigger pieces of sparkle in there i don't want to open it until i'm ready to use it Definitely not opening this till I can get it in a box. And what else? 49th and Market. I will be getting this line 
and in another order we held all our mail or some of it would be here while we were away and this one is the vintage artistry twang mm. tranquility postage washi roll and let's roll it out and get a look at it that might require you So, actual stamps. I love these for collage work, and I haven't gotten to a repeat yet. Okay, we'll be at a repeat after that one, so we'll go back. Beautiful. And seems to be good and sticky. This one is vintage artistry washi tranquility washi stickers is what this one is called. And what it is they're actually die cut so it's a little bit bigger but each of these will pop off as their own element so let's see what we have here yeah see one is coming with the tape not happy about that let's see if we can take the tape the other way and avoid that. Ooh. Sort of. Don't tape it. 49 and mark it. So they come, this one is half, only a half of a thing, so I'll sacrifice it. So you get die cut stickers and a whole roll of them let's see what what they are Are we back around? We are. So I enjoyed that. I needed a new tip. I broke one. So I yes, you can break them, apparently. So this is the metal tip from Art Glitter Glue. Mono sand eraser at the counter. Smart marketing. And some sprinklets. These are bumblebees. And these are flowers. I love these little clay things. And then these cardinals that are brads. I will find somewhere to use them. Otherwise, I'll just enjoy looking at them. So that was my trip to Indy. I hope you guys will pass through if you're anywhere near and stop at Palette and Paper. I don't think you'll be disappointed. As always, I'll leave you in the hands of the creator. Be blessed.